Welcome to the Silicon Valley DJ What to Expect Guide for your disc jockey. Whether you hire Silicon Valley DJ to do your wedding or whether you have a friend do it, at least you'll know after looking at this presentation about what kind of things a DJ does in front of the scenes and behind the scenes. So what really happens at the reception hall before you and your guests arrive? What, what does the DJ do there? Now, there's a reminder, if, if you're hiring a professional DJ, you only pay for the playing time, so all setup time is included. So it means the DJ will get there an hour or so before you even come close to coming there, and they'll set everything up, and they'll just charge you for the scheduled playing time. So the equipment is set up, microphones are tested. This is when the DJ will touch base and coordinate with the catering staff and make any last minute adjustments that need to be made. Every location is a little bit different and every catering staff has their own ways of doing their thing and you got to make sure that those things are all coordinated at the last minute. Sometimes if they have an extra staff person or a table had to be moved, things can get thrown a little bit out of whack. So the DJ is there to make sure that all those things are coordinated, all those things are kept smooth. And so you'll never even see that. At this time, the DJ will also change into his tuxedo. Now, the different kinds of cocktail music, if you want to have cocktail music played, whether you serve cocktails or not, you'll need a little bit of time after your ceremony and the beginning of the reception where you're going to be taking photographs and getting a little primped and ready to go, that there will be some music that will be needed to play while your guests are milling around, whether they have cocktails or not. So we'll typically prearrange the type of music that you want. We'll go over some ideas of the kind of music you want. Whatever DJ you get, they should probably have a website with ideas that you can access before you even become a client so that you can see what they kind of do. You shouldn't have to wait until after you pay to see, oh my gosh, this guy or girl does not have the kind of music or the even close to what I'd like to have played at my wedding. Typically, the kind of music that's played during the cocktail music hour is smooth jazz, usually a little bit more quieter, American songbook, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Rat Pack kind of stuff. There's uh, many more modern songs that are suitable. I have a couple of lists on my website, modern prelude music, some of the more quieter stuff that fits in perfectly during a cocktail hour. Typically during a cocktail hour, it's okay to play music with lyrics. Each one of the songs that are on our cocktail hour lists are pre-screened for lyrical content. We're not just talking about skipping the bad words, but also what is the overall lyrical theme of the song. There's some songs that seem like they have a really good refrain or a chorus, but you want to make sure that the overall content of the song is something that's conducive to your wedding. They should have a positive feel to them, something that's going to be appropriate for your wedding. Cocktail time is also a great place to put music that's more listenable, not quite danceable, but that you really like. This might be one of the better places to show your musical tastes. Uh, it might also be a good place to put any cultural or ethnic music that doesn't quite fit anywhere else. There's a lot of that that could be very danceable, so you can play that a little bit later as well. But if there are some songs that mom or dad really like and you're just not too keen on it, this might be a great place to put it because, well, you're probably not going to be there for most of it. Now, what else happens during the cocktail hour, especially behind the scenes? The DJ should be preparing for the formal introductions of you and your bridal party. Those formal introductions should be preceded by some pre-entry announcements where we'll talk about the fact that you're going to be coming in and we'll announce that you're about to be coming in. We'll get some excitement coming up there. Your DJ should line up your entire bridal party in the order that you have put down on your customized wedding planning sheet. So that detail sheet should have a list of all the people in your bridal party with their phonetic spellings and make sure that they have, that they're all in the right or order and that those pronunciations are correct. This is also where the DJ will come up to each 
individual person kind of explain exactly how they're going to walk in and check again to make sure that those pronunciations are correct. One of the biggest things that uh, the DJ does at this point, too, is they make sure that the photographer and the videographer are in the room and that they're ready. There's nothing worse than having your introductions happen, you walk into the room, and your photographer is changing batteries. This is also the time when the DJ will be preparing the appropriate introduction music. As you're standing outside waiting ready to come in and getting ready to come in with your bridal party, we're going to warm up your guests. The introductions will start as per your wedding coordination planner, which of course will fill out way ahead of the big day. If you'd like more valuable information, it's available at www.siliconvalleydj.com. That's www.siliconvalleydj.com.